Hello, Gary Simon of designcourse.com. Today, I'm going to share a very quick tip I recently learned and I didn't know about with Google Chrome. So Google Chrome, of course, is a popular browser and within it, there's the option to emulate different devices. And this is very important and helpful for those of us who are designing responsive websites, which basically everyone should be kind of concerned with at this point uh, in terms of modern design. And it helps you be able to see what your site looks like on a variety of different devices in both smartphones and tablets. All right, so I'm gonna switch off to the desktop and show you exactly how to enable this feature. All right, so basically if you hit Control Shift and I on Google Chrome, you'll have a window. Now it usually by default, if I click on this, will show up within the same browser window. Uh, if you want it to disconnect it, you click on this icon right here and it comes up in its own separate window. And so to get to that emulation area, you just click on this drawer button right here and you click on the emulation tab and you have all these devices down here that you can emulate. So <clears throat> Apple products, you have Google, you have you know a lot of smartphones, different uh, carriers uh, or from companies and then uh, even the tablets and the iPads even. So if I click on iPhone 5, I wanna see what this looks like, this uh, forum page on my site looks like on an iPhone 5 and click on emulate. While we move this over off screen, we'll see now we have basically an emulation of the iPhone 5 and what my site looks like on this specific device. Pretty cool. So if I change this over here back to a Blackberry Playbook, whatever that is, you know, it'll adjust that automatically and let me know what my site looks like. So, of course, you know, again, the importance of this is letting us know if there are any areas that need fixed within the CSS uh, that some of these devices, you know, we wouldn't be able to tell otherwise. So without having the actual devices in hand. So, you know, when it comes to responsive design, you know, we're all used to, for instance, uh, also to get rid of this, all you have to do is hit reset to go back to normal browser. Um, and so usually we would just drag this in and see if there's any areas, but you know, that's not really very accurate, uh, just because, you know, you're not sure what width you're working with and it's just kind of difficult. So just picking out, you know, going through these, uh, devices when you you have a site, you're trying to make responsive, uh, it definitely makes sense. Maybe not every single one, cause that would take forever, but trying to get, you know, a variety of different viewport widths and, um, smartphones and tablets is a good idea. All right, just a quick tip. And so check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet. Uh, the Design Course Premium subscription service is going to be launching within the next week or two. So check that out. And yeah, subscribe on YouTube as well if you haven't yet. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.